Insomni here with some more AFK Arena gameplay. Go ahead and click the subscribe button below. Turn on the notifications so you can stay in tune with all of the updated videos and updates to AFK Arena. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the video. Uh, this video, we're actually going to look at the Lost Sigils. So this event actually just launched tonight. So we're going to take a look at it. Um, it looks like you do have to collect different sigils and you can exchange them for a lot of different items, a lot of different scrolls, even heroes. But it looks like the heroes take a significant amount of sigils if you're kind of looking, and particular sigils. So I'm not exactly sure how you get them or what you get them from. It says that you get them from battling with factions, which I was kind of looking up here, which is our guide for the event. Um, you may receive sigils from battle if you are victorious. You can undertake up to six battles per day that will reward you with event sigils. Players must possess at least one mythic hero in order to play. Each victory you achieve will reward you with a sigil that corresponds to the factions of the heroes that were used in battle. So if you're looking for a specific hero, let's say here for Rosaline, which I've been looking for if you've seen some of my videos, um, it looks like we need... Sigil of Death, so we need some Graveborn, we need some Wilders, and we need some Lightborn. So let's go ahead and see. Our first team looks a little bit tough, but we will go ahead. Oh, and it tells us what it's going to reward us with. Types of Sigil Reward are determined on the faction, so that will get one Sigil there. Two Sigils if we win. Uh, we're looking for Wilder signals, Sigils. Looking for light bears, and we'll bring folks too. So it might be a pretty tough team, pretty tough lineup, especially with Brutus and Belinda. They have a lot of damage in there. But hopefully some of the CC that we're bringing will help offset some of the, uh, some of the damage that they're bringing. And there you look, Brutus just came back up, and then he went right back down. Let's see, Shamir just got off her ultimate and a sleep, which is going to decimate a lot of their team. So it looks like this one's going to be a pretty easy win. We'll get rid of a shield, and we will take a win. So one out of six, we won. And there's our sigil. So two Graveborn signal, sigils, uh, two Light Bear, and one Nature one. So let's see. So that's not too bad. It looks like here, though, I'm going to have to have to really shoot for her. A lot more light bears, and then, because I don't want to use all my wilders right off the bat, or all my graveborn. So if you're looking for someone specific, you're going to have to go with a specific team. Or if you just want to shoot for some scrolls, but I suggest the heroes. So we'll, we'll stick with the same team. See yeah, how we do. Looks like a similar team to what we just fought. So we'll go ahead and fight them one more time. Hopefully we can max our sigils out here. You don't want to lose any of these because then you only have six during the day and you'll lose a whole opportunity. So we'll put him to sleep. It looks like this one's not going to be that tough of a battle as well. As soon as we get rid of the uh, Brutus, they knocked out a shield and took him out. So again, the exact same sigil. So you do get one, one per opponent. So if you are going for something specific, you can actually just stack your team. So once I go through and I get enough of my sigils for the Graveborn, I might have to swap to a Wilder, which I don't have many options there. But Light Bears, I do have quite a few options, and that's what I need the biggest. So if I could run even a 5 Light Bearer team, would be a pretty strong. And that is a pretty strong opponent here, but get some CC off the bat. So let's see how we do on this one. I know they said they reworked the system on exactly how the matchups would work. So haven't seen a 
too much difference in that. But we'll see how it goes. We'll go ahead and CC everyone, get some shields up. And hopefully it looks like Shamir's, it looks like our Shamir is banished there. Or maybe that is my Shamir now in the back. I think after she got uh, entombed from Fox, I think she was in the back. Look at all of his little minions there. It's always pretty cool to see. So a couple more sigils there. So it looks like it's going to be a pretty straight, straightforward fight. 147, but it looks like they are getting significantly tougher. Let's see if we re-roll if it'll give us a easier match. So 147, 122. So that looks like a easier matchup. Just based on level. Can't see really anything else on there, but based on level itself. We'll get some of our ultimates off there. We'll get Shamir's ultimate. That's what usually does a significant amount of damage. Can get rid of all of their shields and hopefully take a couple people down here. Looks like their Tassie's almost down, Brutus is almost down, and he already shielded. And there goes Shamir and Laika. So not too bad. Clocked in a couple more sig sigils. We'll see. 164. Um, team looks kind of your standard. They got the uh, Namora, Tassie, and Laika. So let's see. It looks like most of them, they're just slightly below where I have my team's power at. So but Fox will clean it up a little, put him to sleep, and hopefully we can get Shamira unbanished here in a second. And there's her ultimate, so that should take care of a lot of the damage on there. We'll shield up, and if you look, with Lucius and Grezold, he shields all of his minions, which makes it really hard because when it's automatic battles or when you're playing, they don't they always go straight for the minions usually. And this team looks similar, except they do have quite a bit of damage in the back line. So hopefully we can get through that. So again, the sigil battles are pretty um pretty straightforward, honestly. So we tell you exactly the sigils you're gonna get. And then just go through, collect them up once you get so many. Hopefully you got a uh, good team lineup. Like I said, unfortunately, with mine, uh, Wilder team, I only have two Wilders that are Mythic Plus. Everybody else is not, but that will do it for the Sigil event. So looking, that was all six battles. So you get nine days, six battles a day. So need quite a bit more. It's going to be the uh, Light Bearer. So if I can swap a little bit later to the Light Bearer team and drop out Shamira or just collect some more sig Sigils with her, so I can actually exchange them for... Looks like a lot of gems. Not sure this last one, the chest of the omnipotent. Contains faction signals. Choose a particular faction signal once open. Oh, so you get to pick a pick a signal sigil. So I believe that is a special kind of chest. And I don't have any one of my mercenaries. So if I can um get some strong wilders from mercenaries, because I believe in here as well, you can use them as many times as you want. You may lend mercenary heroes from your friends or guildmates without any limits on how many times they can be used. So you have someone with a five-star Wilder or five-star just decked out Shamira. You can actually just borrow them and then go from there. So overall, you can see my sigil count right on the top. I got 12 light, uh, 12 of the Graveborn, six of the Wilder faction. And that will sum it up for tonight, tonight's video. And thank you guys for watching.